Hi, I'm State Representative Roger Goodman, coming to you from my office here at the State Capitol in Olympia. I'm honored to serve the 45th Legislative District, which includes the southern parts of Redmond, Kirkland, and Sammamish, and the cities of Woodenville and Duval. It's a privilege and an honor to serve, and I thank you for that opportunity. So we're in our third week now of the 2014 legislative session. Bills have been piling in and being heard before the committees, and those bills will be coming to the House floor very soon for a vote of the full body of the House. Same thing going on in the Senate, where Senate committees are hearing bills and coming to the Senate floor as well. I serve as chair of the Public Safety Committee. My principal responsibility is oversight of our criminal justice system and also to make sure that we're better prepared for disasters and emergencies. I have a number of bills coming before the committees and moving forward. The folders here have different bills in each one of them. Um, the ones that are the most important to me this session, uh, one has to do with domestic violence. We are trying to limit the uh, access to firearms by uh, perpetrators who have protection orders against them. This has been a two-year effort, multi-year effort in fact, and I'm very much hoping we can get it through this year. So if you have a protection order against you and are known to be a dangerous person and have physically abused someone else, I don't think you should have a gun. You should surrender your uh, firearms rights during that period. The other bill that's very important to me has to do with foster care. Foster kids are in the court with no one to help them. And if we had adequate legal representation for foster kids, uh, their cases would be shorter. They'd find permanency in homes, either the reunification with their biological parents or adoption to another happy home. Uh, but if a lawyer were there, they'd help them much sooner. So that's another major effort uh, that I'm working on. Uh, other than that, we are waiting for major floor action coming up soon with lots and lots of bills from all over. And then we'll be sending those bills over to the Senate and vice versa, the Senate sending them over to the House to consider bills from the opposite chamber. We are also considering the possibility of more of an investment in our public schools. And I wish it could be more. The governor has suggested a $200 million ad, which would include a cost of living adjustment for our teachers, which I very much support and has been too long in coming. The other thing that is a major gridlock right now, literally, is our transportation discussion. We are not making enough progress to bolster our transportation system not just the paving of our freeways, but more opportunities for transit and for bicycle and alternative modes. And I'm afraid that the negotiations have broken down, uh, and I'm very distressed by that because I think it's urgent that we pass a transportation package uh, as soon as possible. So stay tuned on that. Uh, as the session wears on, perhaps the negotiations will pick up again and we'll be able to vote on a transportation package, but uh, I'm not sure what the outlook uh, is at the moment. I need to hear from you. Uh, I represent you and I want to hear, uh, uh, if possible, uh, from you personally if you want to make a personal visit. Phone calls are always welcome and I will return your phone call. And then emails as well, although I receive thousands of emails, it's hard to respond uh, meaningfully to them. But I need to know how you feel on issues and so please don't hesitate to contact me. Uh, and uh, that's the way I can adequately represent you and your values uh, and your priorities. So once again, that's a pleasure and an honor to serve. I'll be back to you again with another update pretty soon. Thanks very much from Olympia.